other vlogs I've been doing travel vlogs uh, like my normal London vlogs if you guys are enjoying the vlogs please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you're enjoying them down in the comment section below we do kindly have a collaboration stuff for today's video and that is better help thank you to the team at better help for kindly working with me on this paid partnership and advert i have worked with them in the past a couple of times and i am ongoing with the use of the service i'm using the service myself i actually recently did switch therapists basically just to give you a blurb in case you don't know about better help they're the world's largest online therapy service and they have over 30,000 experienced credential therapists therapists online you can pick whether you want to do phone calls you can do it via the app um, like messaging or you can do video calls my first three sessions uh, with the first therapist that I was matched with uh, they were just phone calls and I did that through the app and I've recently switched I had my first session with the new therapist and she is um, like the way that she does her therapy she wants it to be um, like she thinks it would be better if we did a phone call like a video call rather so this week actually i will be doing a video therapy session with her i switched for no particular reason i was really getting along with the first therapist but i felt like i don't know if i, I don't know something was telling me like if i switched to a different therapist i could get just a little bit more so yeah i made that switch and i'm enjoying it so far so i just paused i took a huge sip of my tea but um i think as you guys know what prompted me to start my therapy journey was a recent change i'd recently bought my home it was a hellish 15 month process and it was just tough and i think like there were a lot of things that were out of my control and the sheer level of grit, determination and tenacity that I needed to get that over the line. Bearing in mind I've worked in property my entire life so I have the, no like, the knowledge, right? But mentally, the sheer grit and determination that I needed to tell people like, listen, I don't know who you're telling no, like to the point where my mortgage was issued and then they took it back and I called them back and I said, run me my mortgage back please because if not we're going to the financial ombudsman like honestly like the amount of hurdles and twists and turns in that really really like it was tough and anyone that knows me knows that I don't come from nothing in it so it was like to do all that and to do it by yourself it was like and then the home reno came which was a different level of stress it was by comparison to the home buying process a nice stress um but yeah you know that process just highlighted some mentally some gaps I felt where I could use some work, I could use some assistance and I could use some assistance from somebody that was experienced and had all of the qualifications and that sort of thing. So I've really, really been enjoying it. Like I said, I switched to a different therapist at the minute. She's great, really, really enjoying it. And it's something that I'm glad that I'm doing. And I think a stigma, particularly in like our culture, people of color, like, and I think the world is changing now, so it is different, but sometimes there's a little bit of a stigma associated with therapy, like, oh, why are you getting therapy? Are you unwell? Are you... Listen, someone that's, someone that's suffering from mental health issues is not gonna present as suffering from mental health issues. It's not always visible. And putting that to one side, I don't think there has to be anything wrong with you to seek the help of, like, online, especially if it's online, right? I don't think there has to be anything wrong with you to seek the advice and the help from people that are experienced that's their core competency right therapy so i don't think there's anything wrong in getting help from people that that's their profession so yeah i've really been enjoying my uh, therapy journey and i'm really excited again especially now that i've switched the other girl was great i just there was that there was a like a little something something missing this this next therapist that i've got she's i know she's 10 out of 10 so yeah i'm really enjoying it better help because i'm working with them have kindly given me 10 percent off to give to you guys for your first month so i'm going to link it down in the description box but if you go to www b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com forward slash Raquel Sewell you'll get 10% off of your first month give it a try let me know comment below as well like I found it really nice to hear your experiences with therapy and things like that in the in the comment section um I know it's not something that everybody has done and some people feel like it's not like a necessity and things like that um but if you have any experience with therapy or therapist please comment let me know I'd be interested if you want to share that is anyway um Personally, I like to use my platform to share and spread awareness about things in a, in like, I don't feel like, especially within my community, I don't feel like we talk about enough. So that's why I'm uh, thrilled and delighted to be working with BetterHelp. And thank you to the team at BetterHelp for kindly working with me on this paid partnership and advert. I have been in true me style, <laughs> like vlogging little bits here and there. And I've got 
a ton of to unbox with you. So I'm just thinking, how am I, how am I going to do this now? Today, by the way, I'm going to a Barbie event. So I have the most perfect outfit ever. If you guys know me, you know I love pink anyway. Um, so I'm wearing this. The weather is not looking the best. So I'm going to take you along to that Barbie event. I did go to, and I'm going to insert the footage here. My friend Catherine is like the best food blogger you'll ever ever see i'm sure you've seen her on the channel before anyway she took me to a california walnut um event and it was lovely i'm so glad i bought my vlog camera and i'm able to show you the footage because it was right on the thames it was right down south bank it was so lovely um we had our own little food we had our own little barbecue they gave us a goodie bag which i did unbox and i'll share it with you guys um but honestly, that event was 10 out of 10. So I'm going to throw that footage in and then I'll meet you guys back here and we'll do some more unboxings because I've got some random stuff that I've acquired and I really just want to share it so that everything's in one place. And if anybody asks, I'll be like, oh, it's in that video, you know? Anyway, let me roll that footage from the California Walnuts event. Hello, everyone. I look very crazy. My hair looks like a bird's nest because I did get something in PR. I was just about to grab some serum and I was like, I got... Please hold and then I was like, I got sent something. So let us see. This is the Creighton's Frizz No More Super Smooth and Color Kind Sleek and Shine Coconut and Camellia Miracle Serum for frizzy hair. And as I said, I got sent this in PR. Oh, it is more serum-like. I was wondering if it was a bit more of a spray. It's gonna leak, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> smells nice. It's meant to have like a sort of humidity blocker although London is not very humid at the moment it's just a very cool 21 22 degrees I'm heading out to meet my friend Catherine we're going to an event um it I to be honest I, I don't know too too much about it <laughs> um but we're heading out it's over by the embankment and outfit of the evening is kind of a bit more fitting for the weather so I've got my jeans on these are my standard redone jeans which I if I'm wearing jeans, it's these jeans that I'm wearing. At this point, I could probably get rid of all of the jeans in my um, wardrobe. Then I'm wearing this zebra print top, which is from H&M. And I was inspired by the fact that I've been editing my Paris vlog for the last three days. And I wore this in the Paris vlog. So I thought I'd throw it on. This is an old blazer from ASOS. It's got like an hourglass and then like shoulder pad situation. I don't necessarily think that it goes. But all, like also, I don't want to be cold. And I think, to be honest, I don't know if this event is outdoors or not. My earrings are my fave recent purchase. These are from H&M and I picked them up in the store. And I think they were like five pounds. And what I love about them is that they are so super light. So anyway, I wanted to film some beauty content with you guys. And then the time started running away with me because I was sent some Merit Beauty products and it's so funny because I was honestly gonna place, sorry, I need to shut the wardrobe, it looks crazy. But anyway, I was honestly gonna place an order on the Merit website. So I picked up the Minimalist and this is the Perfecting Complexion Stick and this is the packaging. Super sleek, super nice. And the shade that I went for is Amber in this. So from what I'm reading, this is meant to be a little bit more of a, like a, all in one so you can use it as a foundation or you can use it as a concealer kind of just depends on your preference i like the fact that you can wind up and wind it back down so the shade i went for is amber so i think i kind of got it with the mind of wearing it as a concealer but not like a so there's two different types of concealers like a really light one to more sort of highlight then there's one that's a few shades lighter than your skin tone so I think this one will do the trick but at some point in the vlog I'm sure we will test it out the reason why they actually sent me PR is because they are coming out with or they've come out with a new signature lip um, this is their lightweight lipstick and they've come out with a new shade so this is aperitif and it's this really vibrant red color which I don't know you guys know I'm always a little bit scared to wear red so I don't know but anyway here's the packaging I think the packaging is sleek can't go wrong with that whatsoever really nice feel sturdy and then here is the shade so perhaps at some point in the vlog we will give this a try i'm actually going to run out to the event now i'm wondering whether i should yeah i'm going to take you guys i was thinking if i because 
I have space on my phone to film now, lols. Um, so I was wondering if I should just film on my phone or bring you guys, but I think I will bring you guys. And then when we get back home, I'm gonna tie my hair because I'm jumping on the tube. Yeah, and then yeah, when we get back home, I'm gonna show you guys some new tech. I've been really sort of thinking about um, the channel and my content in general and just how it can be improved. And I have like the right, I would say at this point, I've definitely got great camera gear. Like I've got great cameras rather but not necessarily the right camera gear like it's a couple of little tweaks that can be made which i'm hoping will improve just like the general quality vlogging is fine like i like this vlog camera i do want to change it eventually but it's not like a huge rush um but just like other little things um like i feel like i just needed to there were some real gaps in my kit basically so i have some new bits which i'll go through in case anyone is uh, a content creator or they're thinking of creating content hopefully that part or the new things that i got um will be of some use i don't know why there's this hitch up on my anyways cheer let's go <laughs> So I wanted to quickly share what was in the goodie bag before I start to pop it away and everything. First up, they actually gave us a whole set for the barbecue, which I thought was so generous. Look at this set, you guys. Like a proper full set for the barbecue. So now all I need to do is buy a house with a garden. <laughs> um, they also gave us an apron and an oven mitt and they also did give us some walnuts which i did pop in the fridge because uh, it said it would be best if they were in the fridge so yeah it was such a lovely event and um i was really chuffed with my goodie bag so yeah okay so we are back in real time my walk-in is looking a little bit crazy because i have quite a lot of content to film i'm actually going to see if i can film a video before we go to this event but let me unbox a few things so i have some new tech which i think i mentioned in that video actually um and i will unbox that with you guys i'm actually going to try and film some vertical content with that because it's prime day or whatever and i've noticed that a couple of the things that i got tech wise are they've got like mad like 40 percent, 50 percent off so i'm going to try and film some vertical content sorry these lights are automatic so i'm going to try and film some vertical content with that and get it up either today or tomorrow so that you guys can benefit from the deal are you this lens is looking a bit dirty in the meantime i am going to do some unboxing with you guys so i have a trip planned and it's a beach holiday so i picked up a couple of random little bits i'm not going to do a try on because you guys are going to see all of these pieces in the uh on the trip but i picked out this sarong from nasty gal i got it off of the boohoo website obviously like this it looks absolutely crazy i'm gonna link everything that i share with you guys in the description box of course this they didn't have in a size eight or a size small so i grabbed it in a 10 which is fine like 
on a beach holiday. I'm eating a lot, so ironically. <laughs> okay, so I basically have a combination of Miss Pat and Nasty Gal. The next piece I have is this little beach dress thing. Uh, this is Miss Pat. This is known as the Sheer Knitted Backless Asymmetric Maxi Dress. I ordered it in a size small, so this one comes small, medium and large. This is the stone colourway. My nails getting caught on everything, I need to get them done. I'm going on, I think I'm going on Friday. Yeah, I hope, yeah, this Friday can't come soon enough. What day is today? Tuesday, hmm. Yeah, can't come close. So anyway, I digress. I got this in stone, but I think they do it in stone and black, which I don't know, typically for me, I always go for the black. So I'm quite surprised that I went for the stone, but I'm like trying to balance everything out because I feel like when I go under my bed and I look for my summer stuff, I feel like I'm gonna see a lot of black cover up. So this one I thought looks really nice. It certainly looked really nice on the model. How it looks on me, <laughs> we don't know. I picked up the Crinkle Viscose Palm Tree Tie. Oh, it's a three set, three piece set. This is Nasty Girl, which by the way, I love Nasty Girl. But can we just talk about the fact that they're like, mad expensive like why are you so expensive anyway annoyingly i had to get this in an a i would have preferred it in a 10 because it, although the top is gonna fit in the eight because it's got this shirt in it right the way that my thighs and bum is set up this is a really cute print though how lovely is this so yeah anyway this is a all things sustainable made of more sustainable materials okay they're trying a little thing but anyway I would have preferred this in a 10 because the shorts would have been a bit bigger and a bit baggier and then also the shirt. I just like to have options in my, that's really cute though. I like this. I love this print. So that's one, two, three things. I mean, oh, I see something black. Okay, so I've got a metallic fine knit plunge maxi dress in eight, in an eight rather, in black. This is Miss Pat 2. I think I have something else come in I'm not too sure okay fine on the website I thought this was going to be a bit more oh no it's a eh? mate this ain't it it says it's an eight but it looks actually maybe it's because of that stinky material it looks well weird doesn't it I don't know okay fine we'll see how this looks over a bikini I've got a really lovely black ASOS bikini it's a Hansa G dupe it's the one that I wore to the south of France and um, it's that high-waisted knicker and the little bandeau top and I think this would look nice on top or I have that same bikini but in a blue so that may be a pop of color underneath anyway either way we've got options and then the last thing I've got is a set I just really wanted some really cute nice sets that I didn't have to think too much about and I could just throw them on and yeah be done so this is the one that I was a little bit sad that I couldn't get in a 10 as well I think yeah so this is in an 8 this is again nasty girl it's like a nice beach cover up I just thought the print was really nice really different so those are the shorts the shorts are elasticated and then the top is a short sleeve top let's just throw it on quickly I mean over the top of this dress it looks crazy but okay maybe the eight is not so bad but like do you get what I mean like it just would have been nice to have it like really oversized like really and truly I would have even have got this in a like 10 or a 12 I also, this has got crease lines in it, but hopefully they fall out. This is nice. This is cute. I'm going to link all of these pieces down below. Maybe I'll do a video on them as well. I'm not too sure. We'll have to figure that part out. Then, very random, but I was going to be working with a company called Timu. I think you guys have probably heard of them. They seem to be like the new wish. Anyway, they reached out to me um, and then they were like, oh when can we expect the video and I was like well when can I expect the stuff <laughs> that's kind of how this works anyway long story short hot like I think they dispatch from various different places which is a bit like how Wish used to work back in the day so it's like you're placing an order great you're ordering like 10 to 12 to 15 however many items but they're all coming from here there and everywhere so every minute your buzzer is ringing because one piece w one little piece come from one little piece so anyway one whole order just didn't make it through so I was just like look I was going backwards and forwards with them a little bit. I said, nah, I'm just going to share, or like, this is not sponsored. I'm just going to share organically, like, the pieces that were sent to me. Um, and I don't know what I've gone for, what wasn't sent to me. But right now, I just can't wait. Let me grab that. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off 
with a lot of glass items in there but i'm actually going to start off with the thing that i've been using the most it's this random little thing yeah i'm going to link it down below for you guys but basically you throw it onto or you dab let me open and show you when you get mail, you dab it on and your address basically disappears. Not with every single one <laughs> I've found, unfortunately, but with most, it really, really does work. So I got that. Then I also ordered two double walled mugs. If you guys know me, you guys know that I love a double walled <laughs> mug. This is my current double walled mug with my current tea in it right now so i have two of these i just think for me these are a little bit bigger than what i had thought they were going to be so i'm going to see if my mum wants them because i like them to be that size really the one that i've got then i also ordered this it's like a glass beaker canister thing but with this one with a bamboo lid but with this one i think you can put hot water in here as well because it will keep it hot there's like a metal insulator on it and then a rubber seal so i ordered this i think this would be really nice for cold drinks as well when the sun comes out like lemon lime make a little sangria so i have this basically i've just gone like glass container crazy i have a ton of glass um, containers with the bamboo lid so I have this one which is quite a wide one I have this one which is a tall skinny one the only thing I will say is on the website it's kind of difficult to tell what size they all are so I have this one which had I've known I've got quite a few that are this size already and then I have this size and this size so they're all various different sizes then I ordered a label sticker or a label make a thing because i have a grid switch in the quick start guide <laughs> lols i don't know if it's going to be quick start with me but anyway it just looks like this i think you connect it to your phone and it prints labels out but i have a grid switch in the kitchen and so everything is connected to it everything in the kitchen is on that grid switch but like i haven't labeled it I mean, I don't go in there and faster the switches. Whatever's on is on, whatever's off is off. But for instance, something like my washing machine, if it was labelled, I would probably switch it off from the grid switch because the cost of living, electricity, all them things, I want it off. So this is a label maker. Then this actually came in the order as well. It's just like a little storage container. I also have this storage container that I ordered. Oh, there's two, sorry. These are just for storing things under the bed and I like the fact that they've got like a clear case so you can see. So I have two of these. And then I think my favorite item were these glasses. I couldn't believe it. So I've taken one out just so that you guys can see it close up but essentially it's just this ribbed glass and there's four of them. And I think they actually came with the glass straws as well. You can never have too many glass straws. During the decorating process, my cup of these just like dropped on the floor and completely smashed. Um, and I also preferred the curved ones and not the straight ones. So I think these actually came with, they must have come with them cups. They either came with the ribbed cups or they came with the, this. I can't remember which one it came with. So. That's like half my Timu order. I ordered some other stuff. It was mainly like homeware-y bits and bobs. So there's that. Okay, so a little bit of a change of scenery for the unboxing of my new tech. So first up, I have this Joby Bemo. This is like a little mini light. Although actually, I think this could be the normal size and I think they do a mini one. So you guys are wonky. So here is what it looks like. Let me see if it has any charge in it. I'm gonna say it probably doesn't, and I probably need to charge it up. Bemo LED light. Oh, there's all kind of modes. Ooh, okay, it can hook onto the camera. Oh my gosh, this thing just almost blinded me. It's so bright. Okay, I'm sitting in the daylight and I have it on. And I don't wanna blind you guys, but this thing is packing a punch. This thing is so bright. So I'm really excited to play around with this and see a little bit more from this light. I need to charge it though, because I have a feeling it probably isn't fully charged. The next thing I have is another tripod because the tripod that you guys are currently sitting on is, 
um, white and my camera is now black before my camera was white so it made sense but now it isn't so it doesn't make sense but I've been rolling with it let me get something to open it okay because my nails as I said are definitely not up to this oh this is actually a little bit different to the one that I have this upgraded surely because it's got like these rubber grip details on it which is really handy but aside from that I mean it's pretty much the exact same I wonder why there's a hole in there I have to read this manual see what that's for okay I actually took some time to read up on it I think you put a Bluetooth remote in here the actual Joby brand has one that slots in here I think so it's permanently on there so you don't lose it so this is my new tripod and uh, yeah it feels like it's a lot more sturdier than the white one that I've got but honestly the white one was fine it hasn't had any issues um, I just wanted a black one now that my camera is black then oh it comes with one of these little mounts as well but I usually just put all of these bits to the side because I have so many accessories from previous ones that I just use on going and I just keep the new ones for if they ever break but they actually never really do so anyway I think the next two products are the two products that I was most excited about the first one is this Joby Wavo Air I have become really obsessed with like just getting really great quality content how does this thing open aha duh um oh wow there's a ton of bits in here but basically this is what it looks like these are wireless microphones and it says here that this is premium sound it's wireless audio basically when i'm vlogging i do have like a little dead cat thing i think they call it on top of this vlog camera but um i'm gonna be vlogging a lot more and filming a lot more at different parts in the flat so one thing I really don't want to compromise on is the audio quality. I want the audio quality to be really top tier. So I thought investing in a wireless mic would definitely do the job. So I'm going to play around with this and see how this makes everything sound. And then lastly, again, this is the thing that I think I was most excited about. I have a new tripod, which look to some people probably is not going to be that exciting. But for me... I basically have a DSLR, a vlog camera, and my phone. I film, I would say, majority of my stuff on this vlog camera now, but it just makes me feel a bit sad for my DSLR because I have a great DSLR and I have a great lens. And if I had the right... Okay, of course my battery died, but the point I was making is I feel bad because my DSLR is sitting there and it's getting no love and it's getting no attention. And if I had the right kit, I'd be able to use it a little bit more um, and incorporate it a little bit more. And... For instance, this vlog camera, the battery died, and the battery dies every two bloody minutes. So it would actually be nice to have the right kit to support my DSLR to use that, maybe incorporate that into vlogs a little bit more. I mean, the lens on it is really, really, really hefty, I will say that, like, I'm not gonna lie. But essentially, I needed a tripod that was going to hold my DSLR. Let me just see if I can get this out for you guys. This is a sturdy piece of kit. Here is my new tripod. This is probably the most sturdiest tripod I own. Wow. I cannot wait to start using this. So I'm gonna link all of these pieces down in the description box. I'm gonna link them via Amazon because I think even after Prime, like to be honest, I feel like this even before Prime was on offer anyway. So I'm gonna link them just in case you guys wanna shop the pieces. But in case you're wondering what little new tweaks and additions there are to my tech, then this is it, these four products. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna do some tidying really quickly. I need to eat as well. I'm actually really hungry. I already had breakfast, but I thought I'd close out all of my little random unboxings <laughs> and link everything in the description box for you guys below. And I'll put you guys back up when we are on our way out to the Barbie event. Okay, I actually just filmed that entire unboxing of the tech stuff for my IG as well, because I thought to myself, people may want to know like about tech, even if they're not necessarily like big into creating content if they're creating little bits here and there they might want to know so I also refilmed it and put it on a highlight on my IG I did also just get let me flip you some goodies in from Palmer's I have the raw sheer nourish body oil I have the renew or re retexture renew exfoliating body lotion 
which sounds really good. I have a few body lotions on the go at the minute though, so I need to just relax for a moment. Um, and then I also was sent this cocoa body scrub, which I've actually never tried. I really can't wait to smell this. Actually smells lovely, but I am going to take the bag that it came in had a little oil spillage there but i'm gonna reuse this bag anyone that knows me knows that i re-gift a lot of stuff i use a lot of stuff that i'm given primarily predominantly um but i also like to reuse things like this because if i want to re-gift it's nice to have a nice little bag um the palmers won't be getting re-gifted to anybody i'm going to use all of them <laughs> um but typically just store everything in the same place um that is there when I need it. What's the time now? I think it's like, I think I've got about 15 minutes to wrap up and get out of here. Going to the Curtain Hotel, they've got a rooftop and, oh, apparently I have no space in there because I have a lot of, okay, maybe I'll recycle this one then. True, yeah. It, I think the product's still in here a little bit. Um, I'm gonna recycle it. I'm gonna take this down with me when we go. Remind me, lols. <laughs> no, let me put it by the door. Final little touch up before I go. I'm wearing this new Bobbi Brown. Well, it's new to me, probably not new to people. This has probably been around for a while. It's the crushed oil infused gloss in the shade New Romantic. And I absolutely love it. I need to cream my skin. I use my Fenty body or Fenty skin. This one's got like little flecks of thing in it. The reason why I haven't actually creamed my skin as yet is because I've been using a body serum. And um, what I tend to do is I'll put the body serum on. And if I'm staying in, I don't want to waste my good Fenty cream, right? Because it smells amazing. And this is the one that has the little like flecks of that body glow in it. So I've been using this body serum which I've actually been really enjoying it's by Necessaire and it's the unfragranced one um I think I'm going to try the fragranced one next but it has like a hyaluronic acid in it the weather's not looking too clever you know it really isn't um, oh my foot back is dry oh my Anyways, a lot, honestly, this cream smells, feels, just everything. It's just 10 out of 10. I've tied my hair up if I look crazy, that's why. It's because it's straight and it's just moving all about the place. I'm like, hello. So, okay. And if you cannot tell already, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to double up to leave here. Anyways, the fragrance of the day is Prada Candy doing everything Barbie. I'm also gonna carry, carry my pink, my old pink bag. Let me just show you now, actually. This is the bag that I'm carrying, and then I'm also gonna carry my Gucci Sunnies. I don't think I'm gonna bring the case because the bag is cute, but it's not got a lot of space in it. These I hardly wear because truth be told, they're kind of heavy on my, on my nose, on my ears, like it's a lot. I've got all of Sheree's goodies in here, which I'm gonna to give to her. My lip gloss, I need hygiene hand gel, hand cream, and we're off. It says it's 23 degrees, it looks really cloudy. I mean, I hope I'm warm enough in this. I'm also really bloody hungry, like insanely hungry. I also have to try and fit you guys somewhere. I don't think the tripod is gonna go in this bag, or maybe it will once I've given Sheree her bits. Anyway, let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, I'm backlit. We've made it to, well, actually, no, that's a complete lie. We just jumped off the tube and it's raining and I literally am wearing just this. Sheree is clever. Because I've got a blazer. Basically. I'm in sandals and a little dress. Um, but yeah, this is event is at the Mondrian, or the Mondrian, however you say it, Shoreditch. Um, so yeah, we'll take you guys along. It's such a shame the weather is not like compliant because there's a, so what Poolside. kind of ruckus is going on out here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the oh, kids in school. school. Right, okay, fine. Um, oh, that's yeah. A, that's, that's a good school. 
like, no, like, oh, like, yeah, oh, man, so annoying about this way, anyway, um, yeah, it's a pool, like, venue, so it is a shame that the weather isn't so good, um, but anyway, I'm getting rained on, <laughs> also, my face is so puffy, I hardly said, look at my face, oh, don't even tell me about sleep, <laughs> who is sleep? Who's sleeping anyway? No Literally, <laughs> my face. I was going to say it to you guys earlier. If I look different, it's because my face is so puffy. It actually isn't, though. It is. Maybe it's so it. puffy. I feel like I haven't slept. Maybe I'll do a guasha situation when we get home. Anyway, see you at the event. you somewhere that might work for now I've got my slippers on straight away anyway Barbie event was really good and I'm sorry if I didn't get much footage what it is is and I'll be like 100 of you guys on this I used to be the girl that would go to events and I love events I really do but I'd forget that they're technically still work I'd forget that you're supposed to go in there network work the room speak to everybody and I just like I don't know like I just forget that core part. So I'm really where I can trying to make an effort when I go to events to meet the right people. Like this was a Primark and Barbie event. So I was really lucky to meet the PR company that put on the event. So I got to speak to them. I got to meet, um, there's a girl that I speak to at Primark all the time anyway. She works on the, anyway, she works on the menswear. So I'm getting my words muddled. Um, so she doesn't really work on women's wear, which is a bit of a shame, but I don't know if you guys remember, but when I went to the showroom, it was the girl that had emailed me and invited me to the showroom and I went with my mum. So she remembers me really well because I don't think many people bring their mums to things. And I was like, mum, are you coming? She's like, yeah. So um, yeah, I got to speak to her and meet, um, meet her again. And then I also got to speak to, so like there's a couple of different like arms of the Primark sort of brand if you like so there was a girl that runs the socials there's a girl that takes care of brands so i.e when you see a Primark okay this is really embarrassing because I'm wearing this at the moment and there's food on it <laughs> but this is my current house t-shirt I'm gonna shower and wear it but this is my Bridgerton t-shirt I did a haul and a reel on this and I got some other bits from Primark the Bridgerton um collab but I remember saying to you guys in that haul video like this is official merch because when you look at the label like it will say Netflix, Shondaland, Primark like that's not just oh you know a little copy it's an actual like real legit merch so anyway got to speak to the lady that heads all of that up so it was really really nice to meet everybody there she was obviously there because of, um this is a Barbie collab and Barbie's a brand um or Mattel rather um I was chatting away, so Sheree was really kind enough to pick up some bits and bobs for me. I picked up this phone case. I'm going to give it to my sister. I, I hope it fits her phone. I don't know if she'll like it. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. But I picked this up for my sister. I picked up loads of stuff for my sister, basically, because I've got a lot of stuff. Sheree picks this up for my sister. A little Barbie bucket hat. Oh, a little gua sha or face roller rather, which actually, funnily enough, that's what we were saying that I needed. <laughs> so Sheree picks this up because um, I was just chatting away. Also got some stickers, like a little Barbie sticker pack for like your laptop, your computer, that sort of thing. Again, I'm going to give this to my sister. Every time I see my sister, I have a goodie bag of stuff for my sister. Um, and then this is an exfoliating glove actually feels kind of soft it doesn't feel super uh, listen <laughs> i like the coarse exfoliating sponges like that thing used to be scratching me like scrape off a layer of the skin that's me so yeah my sister can have that one as well and then of course i love the fact that almost every brand will give you a tote bag which is just because i use these all the time whenever i go grocery shopping this was the bag that i carried today 
I have my ID just flying around loose in here as well because I had to go collect a package from the sweet shop. I picked up something from the sweet shop, which is for my cousin's kids. Uh, this is just a vest top. Um, my cousin has four kids and basically I'm going to go and see them soon. So I'm basically just trying to get everything together because I have six kids to buy for. So I was like, let me just get four of them out of the way from now. And then the other two are twins. So they're the same age. And that's kind of, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of easy because they're just, it's just going to be two of the same thing. So whereas my cousin's four kids, they're all different ages. So I just picked up this vest top this is for the eldest and then obviously i'm just gonna go to like the sweet shop and buy like english sweets they're american so they don't have things like for instance jelly babies they don't have in my opinion good chocolate like hershey's is rubbish reese's is rubbish in my humble opinion so i'm gonna go and add other little bits and bobs but i just wanted to put one item of clothing in each of their bags because i'm the fashionable auntie right so they have to have clothes for me so that's one thing that's come in um this is the barbie tote bag but i'm actually going to pop all of my sister's bits back in here oh a tissue <laughs> i'm actually going to put all of my sister's bits back in here so that she can have the bag too unless i wonder if my sister will actually use this stuff unless i can give some of this to my cousin's kids because my cousin has four girls so maybe they would actually like this stuff. I don't know. Let me ask my sister what she wants first. And then I did get a package delivered. It's actually hiding outside. I actually saw the guy when I was walking back from Sheree and I was like, have you been to me already? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it, like he told me where he put it basically. And I was like, oh, thank you. Ooh, okay. okay. I'm sorry, because I feel like I've shared so much like new, new, new stuff in this vlog. But I basically got gift in from boohoo but i got this as a set and then i also picked this out <clears throat> as a set but the blazer has come in the brown and the trousers has come in all white <laughs> so um yeah that's not going to go together unfortunately and then i picked up a couple of extra bits for like holiday wear what is size is this this is a small okay cool but it's just like a little textured little situation little holiday beach number so yeah that's all of that i'm actually gonna vlog tomorrow because i have another event that i'm going to tomorrow and it's in spitalfields and i haven't been down to spitalfields in a minute and i love being around that area because honestly there's so many shops there like when you think about it there's like an and other stories there's a weekday there's so many shops around there so i'm gonna pop to that event i will catch up with you guys when i'm en route to that event and show you like an outfit of the day and stuff because i think in the morning i need to try and film like i've got quite a lot of stuff here now so i kind of want to try and film and i'm thinking about actually no I'm going to save these pieces for my trip, to be fair. But OK, so I'm going to end this part of the vlog here. I'm going to pick you guys back up tomorrow. I have another event tomorrow afternoon, but I'll just pick you guys up later on in the afternoon because I feel like this vlog is getting quite long as it is. All I'm going to do for the rest of the evening is shower. I'm just going to get myself organised because I definitely need to film before I go to this event tomorrow. And I want to get a really nice early night sleep just because, like I was saying, my face is super puffy i have an eye mask or a sheet mask out which i've been meaning to do so i might try and do this this evening um or i might just like jump in the shower take everything all the makeup off and just hit the bed so um yeah that's that but i'll pick up and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning
we're missing one. Still. I don't know, we haven't heard. Yeah. We'll do the pink latte with. earlier this morning for breakfast i've actually just got home it's about four o'clock so uh yeah the day has totally run away with me just popped to selfridges afterwards just to have a little look but i have a mass <laughs> cleanup operation to do in the flat so i'm gonna go ahead do that i want to take off my makeup jump in the shower i have a therapy session at 8 15 this evening so i'm just gonna unwind until then um if my tilapia has thawed out then i'll do like a little cook with me to end this vlog but I think it should have fallen out so yeah I'm just gonna it's gonna be just like fish and veg it's gonna be very basic but I feel like I'll share it anyway but thank you guys so much for watching thank you to the team at BetterHelp I'm gonna link them down in the description box below for you and um, I hope you enjoy the cooking segment if it's I'm gonna hope that the cooking segment is on here so yeah hope you enjoy the cooking segment and I'll see you guys very soon ciao mm -hmm.